prophetic disaster dreams and these are a little scary Patricia Love from Love Healing Hearts and I'm going to read from our viewer we love it April 4 excuse me April 26 2013 I was shown a city that had been utterly destroyed people walked through the city and into the countryside for refuge. Dream number two. This was June 2013. I stood outside and saw a meteor shower. It was beautiful until they started hitting the city and buildings. We needed to get to the basement. Another dream. January 2014. My partner and I went to find a man that knew about the play, but most importantly, about the insect created to destroy the sick. We stood in his office. It's a mutation that radically attacks and changes the DNA of the organisms and insects. This was a quote. It started off in the water. Then as the plants drank it, it became airborne through their pollen. It rapidly expanded to the frontal lobe cortex, damaging the brain, causing the host, even if it's a human, to permanently hallucinate until death. <laughs> Sounds like something our scientists would do, doesn't it? You can imagine how radical each insect, each infected person may act. He then went on to explain that the insects were created to rid the earth of the sick. I looked at that bug he had in his de he had on sitting on his desk, and it looked just like a dragonfly with a, a weird um, piranha-like mouth and a stinger on its tail that delivered a paralyzing toxin. Oh boy, doesn't that sound like fun? Boy, I tell you, this stuff is getting crazy. And you know what? I believe that they are probably working on something that crazy because when I look on the internet, this is Pat and her two cents. When I look on the internet and I look at a lot of different YouTube channels and they find out all the different experiments the scientists are doing, a lot of it is to depopulize the earth, the elite. They want this earth to themselves. And as many as they can, they will get rid of the poor, the sick, the, uh, the old, the feeble. Oh, they will get rid of them. The prisoners, they'll do whatever they can and whatever they can get away with. So anyway, that's why we need to pray. Because as the demons amp up their, 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 their program and they start to really hit their agendas of destruction, steal, kill, and destroy, trust me, you guys, y'all better pray for divine protection because there are going to be some people that are really operating under demonic influence. And you talk about conscience. What conscience? <laughs> anyway, prayer time, y'all. It's time to pray. Amen. Give your hearts to the Lord. Accept Jesus into your heart. Some of this, these may just be dreams. But who knows if they are true warnings from God or not. So rather than be sorry, it is better to be safe by getting saved. Amen. Amen.